so I'm going to be reading a hundred pages. I'm just gonna put all the penguin additions together because I think they look so aesthetic. Today I am going to show you all the books that I bought in 2022. I bought a mountain load of books. I bought 98 books in 2022. Perfume, The Story of a Murder, Dracula by Bram Stoker, Juliet and Romeo, a novel retelling, Things by Sarah Anderson, History, this one and this one over here, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. By I have two editions of Carmilla, so this is it. Boy Parts by Eliza Clark. Drug Doreen Gray by Oscar Wilde. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. The Monster of Eldenhaven. King of Battle and Blood. Really love this one. As you can see, this one my first crazy tabbed book that I got. If We're Villains by M.L. Rio. Our Wives Under the Sea by Julia Armfield. This is a signed edition. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. A Fate of Wrath and Flame by K.A. Tucker. Fifty Shades of Grey by Ellen James. Mysteries of Thorn Manor by Margaret Rogerson. Arrows by John Kuang. The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. Free War by R.F. Kuang. Sun Swallowing by Dakota Warren. How to Be a Stoic. Don't know who it's by, but I got this at Walter Stone. The Essential, Marcus Aurelius. Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. War and Peace by Tolstoy. A Girl is a Half-Formed Thing by Amir McBride. The Dark Heroine by Abbey Gail Gibbs. And of course, Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. Alright, so. Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldy. The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Insatiable by Daisy Dutch... 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 <laughs> Very nice picture of Oscar Wilde that I found in a bookstore. No More Alibis by Slivia of Hollywood. This is an old book that I found at a thrift shop in Washington. Good Morning Midnight by Jane Rice. Good Morning Midnight by Jane Rice. Dracula, the kids edition, super cute. It has the practice of not thinking, a guide to mindful living. You and Me, The Neuroscience of Identity by Susan Greenfield. Anamkara by John O'Donnell, who? What Would Audrey Do by Pamela Keok. Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. The French Art of Not Trying Too Hard by Olivier Paul Rioff. And Indelicacy by Amina. Plain Bad Heroines by Emily Danforth. Dinners by Craig Taylor. Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. Uh, this is a language guide on Romanian. And then Nadja by Andre Breton. Another edition of The Secret History by Donna Tartt and Sally Rooney's Normal People. Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Conversations on Love by Natasha Loon. On Earth Were Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Young. If Cats Disappeared from the World by Jin Ki. I'm not, I don't know how to pronounce. As You Like It by William Shakespeare. Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre. Bonjour Tristy by, the name is covered so I can't read it. But I bought two books of Along the Enchanted Way by William Blacker. I don't know why I bought two books, but this one seems like it's a library edition and then this just like a regular edition, but I have two of these, which I didn't mean to buy two of them. And then Virginia Woolf, A Room of One's Own. Touche. I'm not even gonna say that name because I don't even know how to pronounce that. Beach Read by Emily Henry. Second Place by Rachel Cusk. Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare. This Winter by Alice Oseman. Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. John Keats Selected Poems. The Bell Jar by Slivia Plath. Acts of Service by Lillian Fisherman. 
Game of Thrones by George Martin. A Far Wilder Magic by Alison Saft. Coraline by Neil Gaiman. Bluets by Maggie Nielsen. All right, and then right here I have If We're a Villains by M.L. Rio. And then over here I have Pirates of the Caribbean, Adventure, The Adventures So, F The Adventures So Far. Okay, now we're at this stack of books. This is my last shelf that I'm going to show you guys, so we're going to get through this. Alright, so first we have Babel by R.F. Kuang, The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova, Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Ellerton, Girl with a Pearl by Tracy Chadler, and then another copy of Carmilla. Then another copy of Dracula. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling. Bunny by Mona Award. The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Little Women by Louisa Alcott. This is such a beautiful edition. Stendhal, The Charter House of Parma. Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Lux. That sounds so French, Lux. Margaret Atwood on Writers and Writing. Oh! No, Marilyn, you stay right there. Sweet Dark by Savannah Brown. And she signed this copy. Macbeth by William Shakespeare. And then another one, Hamlet by William Shakespeare. And then Jane Austen, Northanger Abbey. Sherlock Holmes, Count Dracula. Um, so these four books I bought in this year, 23, so obviously I'm not going to count those. Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Mm, I think, yeah, this one, I think, so I bought this one online like a few days after Christmas, but then I got it for New Year's, so does that really count? Another edition of If We're Villains by M.L. Rio. This is the U.S. edition. Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. Uh, I actually bought this one in 21, so I didn't buy it last year. And then... What is this one called? So this is the cover, the dust jacket. I just took it off, but it's... Beasts and Beauty, Dangerous Tales by Soman Chim Nanny. Um, it's a really, really cute story. It's really, really cute fairy tales that have a bit of a darker twist to them. A lot of them you already know, like Beauty and the Beast, Rapunzel, Little Red Riding Hood. Really, really cute, beautiful classics. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and you saw all the books that I bought in 2022. And it was a lot. I've been through so many different phases in 22. And it's really been the year where I started my reading journey. So I'm happy to show you all the books that I bought. And of course, I'm going to be doing the same thing next year for 2023 of all the books that I bought. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.